little plant girl. Oh, Do you make plant things? <laughs> so, what's going on? Butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Today is the day <laughs> that I can finally clean up all my stuff and put it outside on my lanai. If you're confused, they made us take all of our stuff off of our lanai so that they could paint it. And then I was gone for an entire week at my parents' house. It's finally time and I'm so excited to not only um, clean it up in here, but to decorate. So I have a few babies that are kind of you know, yellowing. A couple over here. Oops, okay. So yeah, this one's a goner. Memoranta's doing well, but overall everything seems to be doing pretty good. This plant I messed around with and um, propagated by separating it, so I think I'm gonna give this big piece to my parents to put like in the ground ground. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this table thing outside and completely clean it and then we'll bring the plants. October 12th. Yesterday was my little brother's birthday, so we had a lot of fun. I've been crazy busy. I just had midterms pass. They went well. Um, Blue is here to join us. <laughs> I have just been chilling today, honestly. I had a call at 3 o'clock with my professor, and that went really well. And then, other than that, I've been binge watching The Good Witch on Netflix, which, if you haven't watched it, it is the cutest show ever. Who's down here with me? chilling but so yeah I've been binging a show I put on some cute nails today that I got the other day I put on my Halloween nails I'm drinking a glass of wine I had a fun group FaceTime call with my family I'm just chilling I'm making a pizza I'm going to finish watching this show but I figured it would be fun to take out any Halloween decorations that I have I really don't know that I have many Halloween decorations. I feel like I want to um, get seasonal up in this john. You know? No, I'm not from Philly. <laughs> but my mom is, can you tell? <laughs> I really can only think of one decoration that I know that I have. I thrifted it and it is really freaking cute. Just chilling here with my man. Today was one of those days where I woke up and like I was feeling pretty good, but very shortly on in the day, I just felt so tired and I slept very well last night. I've just been really busy. School has kept me on my toes. It's definitely like making me really anxious. Um, and just, yeah, things going on in my brain. <laughs> a lot of things are changing in my life right now. Um, I also have a very big feeling that the universe is testing me right now. Um, in very particular ways, which is interesting to deal with. So today I wanted to give myself a rest day and just watch my show and get into the Halloween spirit and just hang out. But as soon as the sun went down, which it sets earlier now, I got this wave of guilt for not being super productive today. Anytime that I don't have like a productive day, I really beat myself up for it. If I have a day where I'm like, I'm going to rest and just do nothing today. Yeah, I just feel guilty and it sucks, but that's that and um, I think it's important to take rest days even when it is hard um, 
that's something that you need to face that we all need to face i'm sure like we don't need to constantly be in this go 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 phase all the time like we need to rest and not feel guilty about it because then we can actually show up with the things that we're doing that we care about um, in a better stronger way so just trying to remind myself of that and also like i said the universe i feel like is really testing me right now and i think it's important that sometimes in this spiritual world we're so um you know you need to heal and do your shadow work and all these things and it's super crucial that we do that but i think that when things come up and you feel discomfort like to just immediately jump into i need to fix this i need to heal this i feel like that's also not a good thing either like we need to take a minute to sit in what we feel before we actually address it and like do something with it if that makes any sense i'm gonna go put my pizza in the oven and then we will start whipping out i almost said ripping out <laughs> we will start whipping out my halloween decorations and i hope that it is not super lame but i have a feeling that it's going to be like one thing well you guys just like i kind of warned you i only have one decoration but it's really cute it's this little skeleton and you put a tea light holder in there and then there's some really yummy potpourri and i know these are like christmasy but they've got them fall smells so we're gonna use them. <laughs> We're gonna put this guy on here. Cute. That's all we got, kids. <laughs> I really wanna get some like big quartz crystal balls, like total psychic vibes. Oh, I can use this. So I don't have the candle in there right now. We're getting our ish together, kids. Ooh, I really like where to go gold leaves so pretty last year or the year before i did a really fun crystal grid using halloween crystals so like oranges reds blacks i remember that there was definitely a big piece of carnelian in there um so just like a very fun seasonal sort of um crystal grid and i definitely want to do another one of those on my little altar space up here that is all i had a few pieces of pizza i'm feeling good but whoa is that fun you have to see him right now do you like your toy that mom got you? Actually, grandma bought this for you. My mom. <laughs> that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow for some fun decorative things. And yeah, I love ya. <laughs> good morning, good morning. What time is it? 11.17. And I just realized that I've been vlogging, blogging, vlogging in the same spot for the last little bit. Say hi. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go and do some aerial. I'm gonna take Blue. He has a place that he can kind of run around. It's a gorgeous tree, a gorgeous spot. So that's my plan. Well, we made it to the park. Hi, Blue Blue. Let me get him some water. I hung the Lyra. I don't know if you can see it. There she is. So that took a little bit longer than I planned. <laughs> I brought him some peanut butter treats. I brought my Rumi Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. I'll link this down below. I love this deck. Some crystals with me so I can just kind of have some chill time. You want your ball? Yeah. I'm only nervous that there are wild boar around, wild pig. So if there are, I don't know what we're gonna do about that situation. I'm gonna listen to some I don't even know how to say her name, but I've been really, really enjoying her music lately. I'm gonna go up 
and put a swivel on. I do have some extra carabiners so that I can spin. Shit hurts your back like hell. Hi guys, I am back home now. Where I live here in Florida, there are a lot of wild boar, wild pigs, and they are very mean and vicious. And I have Blue with me. I was just really worried that, um, that yeah, they were gonna come close to us and I couldn't see them, but I could hear them. I heard them when I first got there and then I heard them quite a few times while we were there and Blue would kind of just stare off into the distance and like start growling, start barking, and I didn't see anything there, but um, I don't know, it just kind of like made me feel like we should go. You wanna vlog with me? Yeah. Good morning friends, it is the next day. After I talked to you last, I ended up um, calling my mom and just kind of talking through all of the feelings that were coming up for me, which is always very helpful. As soon as I went outside to walk blue, I found this. Like, are you kidding me? Somebody was throwing it away. Ah! So, I've been thinking that, actually, I kind of want to move you. Don't mind my outfit, it's not cute. This little plant stand right here, I kind of want to give it to my mom. That black shelf right over there. I was thinking about taking that and putting it right here because there's really not that much on it. It's just like books on one shelf and then like random decor that I can either sell or donate or whatever or move somewhere else. But then I found this and I'm so obsessed with it. For now, I think I'm going to put it here and see how we feel about it. I wanted to share it with you. I did also go and get some Halloween decorations with my mom and my brother yesterday, so I'm gonna show you those today. I do wanna find a better place to put you though. I'm gonna move this over here. That would be such a cute nightstand too. I don't mind my outfit. I'm literally wearing some, oh, fuzzy socks. I'm so sore, that was really sad, wow. I got them, you guys already know, I got them my Larry yesterday. <laughs> potted up some of my little wandering dude plants that I had water propagating. I think it turned out really, really cute. I'm about to water it for the first time. So as you can see, I cut the outside of the Duncan cup and stuck it around there so that um, the water doesn't drain as bad. This is what it looks like and they're baby water propagation. So this is a nice um, 
space for them to be able to grow. And then I cut some holes in the bottom. So let's give it a water. I'm gonna just kind of let this drain for a little bit. Okay, I got a little distracted because my best friend called and anyway, I finished. And I'm so obsessed with it. Honestly, I just have to say, redecorating your space is such a good way to uplift your spirits. If you are not feeling great, um, I'm so excited just about this and how visually pleasing it looks and how inviting it looks. You're so sweet. My baby. I'm so, so beyond happy with how it turned out and I was still feeling a little anxious this morning but just kind of walking around and putting things together and making it look nice helped my anxiety so much. And you don't need new things to do this. You just need to kind of remove everything from one space, clean it up a bit, and just give it a fresh start and it will feel so good to just move some energy around. So this is how it looks, you guys. I'm so happy with it. I love how this turned out. You guys probably saw me put this on the shelf, like right here at first, but I definitely wanted to hang it because it is in a hanging basket and it needs its moment. You guys saw me work on this, so this will grow very long and pretty. They grow so quickly, so I have that. I threw one of my amethysts in here. I know the lighting is a little bit bright, so it's kind of hard to see. I do keep the windows open all the time because I have so many plants and they need light. <laughs> Yeah, I have this long pothos over here that I repotted recently, and then I have a pothos right here. This is a mess right now. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It looks so nice. I do wanna show you guys though what I got for my Halloween decorations. Cause I got some cute things. I got some of these, the pink ones are my favorite. First thing I got is this cute little witch's hat. It's got a cute little buckle on it and it's so cute. I really like it. You could even use it for like a photo shoot and just bobby pin that to your, your head. I got some garland. This is, um, it's got little bats on it. But I, I really wanted to try and kind of stick with some sort of theme in here. A cute little skull. He's cute. Oh, does it light up too? Oh, it does! So that's really cute. This cute little, which is a spell book that I love. And it's just a little, you know, storage situation. So maybe I'll stick some candy in there or something. I got this cute little ghost. So cute. Pumpkin little tea light candles. I already put one in the skeleton over there and it smells so good for the dollar store these smell phenomenal a couple of the taper candles for my candle holders this is not halloween but i saw it and i was like i need to have this it is so cute it's this little elf mm, he's so cute i really like him so i'll put him on my door um for christmas time i got some of those hooks I got a couple little candles. This one has a leaf on it, and this is just a gold pumpkin, so those are really pretty. This is so freaking cute. It's a little wine glass with like a skeleton hand. Ah, it's so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna be drinking out of this for the next forever. <laughs> and then I forgot I was gonna show you this. I got a little flower crown sitch. I probably won't actually use the flower crown. They're literally made of foam and that just like makes me cringe. But I do like the face jewels that it came with. There was another one that had like green jewels in it. Um, but anytime I see jewels like this, I grab them because they're awesome for when I host photo shoots, um, which I haven't done in a while, but I am stockpiling up a lot of really fun props and things for my clients to wear and for me to wear because I be doing them photo shoots for myself, girl. You already know. So let's figure out how we're gonna decorate. I do wanna set up like a little Halloween altar space, like I told you, so let's do that.
Oh, I caught it! Yay! Happy Thursday. Sorry I look literally disgusting in pretty much this entire vlog. In the video that I posted where I did a jungle green plant goddess photo shoot moment, you guys saw that I broke my, one of my favorite plant pots. I tried to hang it from the ceiling and it just fell. So I saved the pieces because I wanted to do that thing where you um, paint gold over all of the cracks and you put the whole thing back together and I think it came out really nice. I want to look up what it's called so I can get cultured AF. Kintsuji. Somebody help. I'm going to let this finish drying. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Here is the pot that it's currently in. Very small. It is so long, you guys. It touches the floor almost when it hangs from my ceiling, which I'm very, very proud of. But I know that this pot is definitely not gonna be big enough. Look at all of these new little sprouts coming out. There's one right here. I don't know if you can see right here. There's one here and then there's one behind it and I'm really excited about it. There's my cute little shelf. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna just stick this here for now. Let it get some sun. And then we will put it back over there because it looks very plain and sad. Also, I need to make my bed. Let's do that really quick. It's 333. I've been seeing magical numbers all day. But I just finished my face. I'm going to film my video for this weekend. I will check in once I'm finished filming. Okay, I almost forgot. That scared me. This is dry. And I want to hang it up in my room. It was hella broken. And I fixed it. Oh, she's cute. Now she's gold and she's got her little imperfections like us, you know. There she is, looking cute. Yeah, I think that looks so much nicer. Okay, so let's get her hung up. You guys have never tried to put your plants in these macrame johns. It is fucking difficult. It takes so much patience. Now y'all can grow with your best life. What do we think? Is it pretty? Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. It feels so naked without that there. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And I'm just still admiring my shelf that we did together in the vlog. It's so cute, you guys. A little plant girl doing my plant things. <laughs> Can you tell that I spend a lot of time alone? Cause I do. Four, 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 yay! It's just a magical day today and I am living for it. Hi guys, it is Friday. It is your favorite. I'm wearing yesterday's makeup still. Ho, coming at you live. I wanna to talk to you guys about where I'm going with my videos, with Tay Luna Projects, with everything um, because as of late, things are changing, which is okay. Um, and I want to really embrace that change and dive more deeply into things that matter a lot to me. Um, one of the reasons that I started YouTube in the first place way back when I was in fourth grade was for home decor and for room tours. That was my favorite video to watch. 
and I would change my room around like literally once a week. I am not exaggerating in the slightest. I would move all of my furniture around. I would run to my parents' basement and grab different pieces of furniture and just kind of like add things in and take things out. And it was a really big part of coping for me. Um, when I feel like I don't have control of the change that's happening around me in my life, which comes with depression and anxiety, um, it's something that I can control. It is something around me that I have full control over and um, it was a good way for me to kind of balance the way that I was feeling and be okay with having control over some things and not having control over other things. So. I really want to talk more about that and the power of decorating your space, sacred space creation and the power of doing that um, and really kind of like hone in on those topics more than I have in the past. I would do a room tour and that would kind of be it um, and you guys really really like my room tours which is like amazing and I love that but I wish I would kind of expand more um, more deeply on that so I think going forward I want to do more work with um, with sacred spaces and the purpose behind um, having decorations and, and doing room makeovers and things like that because for me it, it runs deeper than just the aesthetics of the way things look. I think it really reminded me how powerful this is when I decorated the shelf that's right here that you guys saw me decorate with all my plants. I hope that this makes sense. I hope that you guys um, enjoy the things that I'm gonna be talking about. I feel so much better after just sitting down and pulling cards. So the first card that I pulled was the Four of Swords and somewhere in the booklet that I was reading, it says, quieting allows you to enlist divine intelligence, your true voice. And I really, really like that. It really stuck out to me, really resonate with me right now. And the decisions that I'm making with changing my direction in Tay Luna and in this whole everything that I'm creating, um, I really want to dive more deeply into connecting with your guides. And um, connecting with your guides is just another way of saying that you are connecting with your highest self, your your truth, your true voice. Um, so I just thought that that would be powerful to share. I have a little list now of some videos that I'm going to film. I'm really looking forward to this and I hope that you guys are excited about it. I think what I'm gonna do, it's only 2.25. It feels so late in the day. Like when you really start pulling and going through your energy, it kind of wears you out a bit. Um, so I think I'm gonna take a shower and give myself some just refresh myself i'm gonna do my shower meditation with my quartz crystals i have a whole video about this on my channel i will link it in the cards and down below for you it is a shower meditation where you go through and you cleanse all of your chakras and you cleanse all of your energy um, and it's really powerful to do while you're in the shower because you are cleansing your physical body in the shower why not also cleanse your energetic body at the same time um, 
so i really like it it taps you into reiki a little bit if you have never done reiki um, i think it's a good way to kind of get introduced to the energy healing world Sunset's a coming. Thank <laughs> you. 